right guys it's uh, update time um, if you've been following my previous video here and the one before that uh, you'll know what's going on I'm installing the thrust vector system on this uh, last night was a late night I actually had a video recorded last night showing you guys where I was at but when I uplet uploaded it something happened on YouTube and they said it was I couldn't upload it I guess I don't know if it was the length or the size of it I recorded it in HD maybe it was the size but anyways, um, here's where I'm at so far. Everything is finally hooked up. Uh, let me go ahead and throw my receiver around my neck here. That way I don't drop it when I'm showing you. Alright, um, got everything hooked up. Now this is running Delta, so I did have two mixes open. And I was uh, able to actually wire everything and still keep an extra mix open. And I'm actually only running the uh, DX6i on this with the uh, AR6210, or 6220, 6210, something like that. The satellite receiver, basically. As you can see, it's hanging down here. Um, the only thing I have left to do, really, as far as the thrust vector, every single thing is mounted in here. i um, just running it off a 3-cell right now to show you guys. Uh, all servos are mounted, solid, and good. I just have to uh, mount my uh, receiver, find a good spot for my receiver. Um, clean up all my wires, make everything look nice, hide it up good, and uh, and and clean that hole inside there. And then I'll be done with the thrust vector, and then I'm going to be starting on. I got three more things I need to do to it. Um, one is, as you can see, the uh, I still wasn't happy with the hinges, so I went ahead and re-rip these, cut these back off, and I am going to put uh, a little bit better hinges on it. Um, so I'm going to mess with that here soon and get the servos back in but this video is mainly going to cover the thrust uh, thrust vector and the afterburner lights I have not got a chance to start on the afterburner lights yet but the thrust vector is done so uh, I'll go ahead and give you a little example here um, like I said I can shut it on and off which you want to do when you have thrust vector um, here it is let me, let me make sure I shut this off here it is with it off so you can see all the other my little wing servos down there moving everything else moving uh, it throttles up moving, and I hit this little switch, which I just hooked it up to my flap switch, um, and then I have pull up and down thrust vectoring this way, and pull back and forth with the uh, rudder. And I'd show you guys 360 if I had two hands here, but I can kind of do it for you if I use my elbow. But uh, yeah, so I got it left, right, and these are actually on low throw right now. Um, I can go a lot more. I'll give it a little bit of throttle for you. And I've already done the old pickup and uh, move it around test uh, to see how it throws the plane around, and it throws it around awesome, um, especially when I put it on the real high throws. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, turned out to be a little bit more of a job than I thought. But I got everything hooked up, um, and like I said here, I'm just had that servo mounted inside. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm letting it work its own its own little hole there by just working it. And once it gets its own little groove cut, I'm going to go in and just barely clean it out and square it off so it looks good. And probably rim it with a little bit of epoxy to keep it strong. Um, but yeah, thrust vectoring is done. Um, got that taken care of, so that's all the way. So next I'm going to start on not my new digital uh, Metal Gear servos uh, underneath the wing here. I've got both of those gutted out. You can see them both hanging there. Those are the old ones. I'm just going to go ahead and snip those and basically solder on a new connector so I can change servos in the wing whenever I need to. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm really happy the way it turned out. I'm really happy with the tests I've done now. It didn't change the CG too much. Made it a little bit more uh, tail heavy, just a touch. But I have plenty of room in the front uh, to move my batteries. Um, even when I was running a 3S, I'll just see if I have something to compare it to here for you. Even when I was running 3S's, I was running monsters like uh, like this here, um, the 3000. That's a, not, This right here is a normal uh, 3S 2200, uh, let's see, that's a 35C. Um, and these are what I was typically running in it. So between these and the 4S's I run in it, all I have to do is scoot the battery up just a little bit more, and uh, and I'm good. And uh, as you can see, I've got plenty of room. I went ahead and widened that out, and you know I've got my lines drawn right here where my old CG was. Um, the the top line there was for uh, high alpha, and the line closest to the nose was the normal balance point. 
So basically I'll probably just have to make another line a little bit closer to the nose for the new balance. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. And like I said, I just need to go in here, get all this out of the way, um, go in here and uh, clean up all this junk, clean up all my wires, mount everything up nice, make sure my antennas are clear from all my wires and everything like that. Um, that is where I ended up mounting the, uh, the uh, servo for... That is the up and down on the thrust vector. Um, I just did the good old trick of using uh, using uh, duct tape, wrapping about four wraps around the servo, and then epoxying the servo to the uh, plywood board. Um, and that is uh, Gorilla duct tape, just like the uh, Gorilla glue, but they make a very strong duct tape. That's what I went with that. Uh, so at any time I want to take that servo out, it itself is not epoxy to the board. I just have to cut the tape. Uh, open it up and I can pull that out but it makes a very solid mount for my thrust vector um, move my speed control back just a little bit adjusted the hole so I could run my push rods on top of it and like I said ignore the wires guys those are all going to change but uh, yeah got the thrust vector done getting ready to clean up the wires after I clean up the wires I'm going to go ahead and put my new servos in and uh, put my new hinges in I still haven't I still got to cut that uh, control surface off over there but put those on so new servos new hinges and then I'm gonna start on the uh, the afterburner lights I was telling you guys about and I'm gonna have uh, three rows it's gonna be uh, blue white and red um, three rows wrapped all the way around inside um, those are gonna be running off a separate uh, brushed speed control so they'll have a plenty of juice but it will be tied in with my throttle so I will be able to, as I increase my throttle, they'll go from not even being on at dead throttle to extreme, their 100% brightness at full throttle. Um, and those are also going to be tied into my flap switch, uh, which I just shut off so you guys can see. I'm moving it again, and thrust vector is off. So I'm going to tie the lights into that switch as well. So uh, I may put that into the mix switch though, because there might, might be times I want the lights and not the vector, or I want the vector and not the lights, so I might find a different switch. Um, and last thing guys, while well, after I got this all hooked up, I had to run all my wire, everything through that small hole there, I had to do a little bit of, of a modifying there. But I just wanted to remind you guys again, whenever you're putting uh, servo extensions on or Y connectors, these little bad boys right here, you really want to check into these very cheap and can save your butt. I found one of my connections inside the plane when I took it apart to do the thrust vector was actually pulled out a little bit and it was my elevator for my delta. That could have been very bad. So uh, I went through the whole plane, put these on, just little safety lashes, like a dime or a quarter piece to your hobby shop. Um, put those on all my connections and it makes it to where you cannot pull out apart. Um, so I really recommend those. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, um, go ahead and leave me a comment or drop me an email um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all these wires cleaned up make it look all nice and pretty um, get the hatch back on and then I'll flip her over and start on the servos and that and the uh, control surfaces and uh, from there then I'm gonna get in here with some acrylic and that clear thrust tube if you can see it there in between the thrust vector and the back of the jet is a clear thrust tube um, really has increased my thrust uh, you can kinda see it inside there um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint that acrylic. I'm going to paint that black as well as the uh, ring around here. I'm going to go ahead and paint that black as well. Um, that way it'll look like it goes straight black to uh, the brushed aluminum. And uh, we should call it good after that. So I'll we'll have some more videos coming. Hopefully the next one will have everything working, including uh, afterburner lights. But uh, yeah. If you guys got any questions, leave me a comment, and uh, I'll try and get some more videos coming to you. Alright, thanks.